Lastly, we're going to be installing this SKS lock core uh, on our rack so that nobody steals your rack system. Um, I just bought a two lock, a two pack, which is only includes the two locks. So I'll just put one in the front, one in the back, and that should be good enough. I don't need four of them. So uh, let's, now I'm assuming that most of you guys will be purchasing a lock system for your towers, which I highly recommend. Uh, but if somebody did want to steal these things, it is a pain in the butt and um, they're gonna really have to fight to get this thing off. But it's good to have it locked no matter what. So let me go ahead and go through that, with, go through that process with you guys. So as I, <laughs> I was just taking the little plastic filler, there's a little cap goes on your keyhole right there. You just wanna pop that off with a flat screwdriver. Okay, and I'm gonna tilt the camera down just a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. So right now, um, these, these don't have any locks in here at the moment, but in yours, it could possibly be that this is locked and it won't open this easily, okay? And so I'm gonna show you guys how to unlock this, uh, even though there's no key in here. But let me talk quickly about the keys that do come with your lock system, your SK locks. Uh, there are basically three keys that will come in a box. There we go. Okay, you have a two primary keys that's already cut out for the tumblers on your, on your lock, right? They're very specific to this lock. But that being said, if you guys have other keys like this, uh, you guys can go down to a locksmith and get it all cut so that everything is on one key system. And it comes with this master key. Now the master key, there's no cuts on here. And what it basically does is when you slide this key, let me focus a little bit more on here. When you slide the key into this uh, lock, it basically drops all the, tum the appropriate tumblers so that you can slide this into your locking system. So let me show you something right here. So first of all, these things only fit in one way. Uh, if you look carefully here, there is a male little nipple on top of this lock. Let me focus again a little bit better. There's a male nipple right here. And is on the inside of, the, of your, your locking hole, there's also a female portion where this will fit into. And what I was trying to say earlier is that it's kind of hard to see in the camera right here, but if for whatever reason, that little female hole is out of alignment, like I just made it right there, you won't be able to open this, it's locked. Okay, there's no way you can get this open. So the only way to get this open, if you decide not to use the locking system, is you gotta get a screwdriver and turn that little hole that's in there to the 12 o'clock position. So that little hole, that female hole, you focus again here, is sitting on the, at the 12 o'clock position. And then you can just grab both of these at the very top, squeeze in just a little bit, and it'll open up just like that, okay? So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and um, you can go ahead and put in the, your lock, this locking, the core inside here if you want to, and we're gonna do that right now. So I'm just gonna close this up. Make sure that female notch is at 12 o'clock. My nipple is on at the 12 o'clock position as well. And I'm just gonna basically slide it in, just like that. that that's all you gotta do, hold the, tongue, hold the core. Okay, so when you pull the key out, it doesn't come out, okay? So now you're good to go. Easy as that. That lock will not, will not fall out now. Even with this key, this is in there until you use that master key to pull it back out. So there you go. Easy as that.